These are all the volunteer fire stations that serve Edgecombe County. You can see some of the areas are not covered. One area in particular is growing quickly with new businesses, and it's also near where in 2021 a fire burned this QVC warehouse to the ground. We all remember that. Well, now a $1.5 million grant from the state will fund Edgecombe's first countywide fire department. WRL's Heidi Kirk shows us why it's necessary to support the growth. Kermit Perkins is following in his dad's footsteps, first as a volunteer firefighter for the Princeville Fire Department, and now as its chief. In 1982 when I joined, we had a waiting list. Now we don't have a list. He says it's not easy to find volunteers, and that's one of the reasons why Edgecombe County is implementing a countywide fire department with full-time employees. It's really, really nice that we're going to have some extra hands, some extra apparatus to help us. County Manager Eric Evans says the QVC fire making headlines as the largest in the state's history led to action on the five-year plan to form a fire department. It just reminded us that we need to be uh, even better prepared in case uh, we are unfortunate to have something like that to happen. Now, while 17 volunteer fire departments cover the county, only 15 of them are actually housed here. And the county manager says that as the county grows, it's essential that the fire services grow along with it. A $1.5 million grant from the state funded new equipment, while the county will foot the cost of its employees. In the near future, firefighters will work out of a new station at the Kingsborough Business Park to help provide protections in a growing area. Just knowing that there are people there uh, at all times readily and willing to uh, respond uh, is a big deal. Heidi Kirk, WRL News, Edgecombe County. Now, until the new fire station is constructed at the Kingsborough Business Park, the Edgecombe County Fire Department is housed at the Emergency Services Department in Tarboro. We don't have a timeline yet for the construction of the new station.